Oh, that's another thing. The tight ends. Yeah, what about it? Could you do me a favor? Yeah. Could you tell Joe Piscopo I tell him to go fuck himself? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Because I, because again, I I called him. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. Had a great comment. One of, the, one of the greatest conversations ever. <laughs> probably, what, in all seriousness, probably the best conversation I ever had in my life. I called okay. Joe Piscopo. And then as I'm about to hang up, he goes, Greg, do me a favor. Don't be late Monday. I'm like, what do you mean by that? And he's like, you're going to come You're gonna come by my house in New Jersey and clean the sewers in the neighborhood. <laughs> and I'm like, who do you think I am? He's like, you're the sewer guy, no? And I was like, go, I'm asking you to do my podcast. And he's like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. He's like, the oh, sewer God. guy has a podcast now? <laughs> he's like, no, I got his number for, yeah. uh, sorry. It was in sewers, and I'm like, no, it's it's just three guys. We have a conversation, a few laughs. We laugh our fucking balls off. He's like, I have no interest in doing that. Okay. And I was like, we, you can come on. We can talk bodybuilding. He's like, I'm not into bodybuilding anymore. I have old man tits. That's what he said. <laughs> I'm and so I, sorry that happened. And, and I told, and I didn't want to tell him to go fuck my fuck himself. No, wow. Mateo, if yeah. you do, you tell him that Greg from Greg and Rob podcast. Oh, I guess. Yeah. That's you were incorporated. <laughs> I thought you would want him because my father said he was at a meeting with him recently with a bunch of guys for like a fundraiser. So then yeah. I got his number and he, I said, Oh, you guys number. And I gave it to you. He was telling me about that meeting too. What do you say? He said that the, the butcher brought in Capazal. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do you say? He's like the, the butcher brought in Capazal. <laughs> I'm not familiar. Uh, maybe my father has a lot of people. That's what he told me about the meeting. But I, 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 I thought I had one of the greatest conversations of my life. And now this guy wants me to go over to fucking Bayonne and clean his <laughs> stuff. And I'm, I'm, like, so, I'm so sorry about that. I'm not even a fan of Joe Piscopo. Oh, I thought you were. No, not at all. And I was he was convincing me that I should have been a fan this entire time. <laughs> oh, my God. Until he asked me to do something ridiculous for him. <laughs> and so he wanted and here's another thing about Joe Piscopo. He's very cheap because he know. wanted me, he wanted me to work below the minimum wage. He wanted to give me ten dollars an hour to clean his fucking sewers. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. To, I'm so had, sorry. I'm so you had sorry. Negotiate because the initial offer was eight fifty an hour. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, like I won't do it anything less than ten dollars an hour. He's like, so he's like, like, like you. wait. I'm like, I'm, I do apologize for that. I didn't think it was going to go so sour. To clean your fucking sewer. Yeah, Thank you. I'll clean your fucking sewage, Joe, and kick in the ass. Then, but here's the best part. He's like, and then when you're done cleaning the sewer, come in the house. My wife will make the raviolis. And I'm like, Joe, after working a hard day, I'm not going to your house and eating raviolis with the enemy, your wife. <laughs> so sorry. Oh, my God. He's like, you lie. I'll show you old pictures of my bodybuilding <laughs> Look how young I was. <laughs> oh my god. I do apologize for this inconvenience. He's like, I got home videos. We could sit down, we could laugh, we could fucking I'll show laugh. You this video of Eddie Murphy going to my seven year old daughter's birthday party back in the nineties. And by the way, I, I, on the phone with him, of course he had to drop names. He was like Eddie. <laughs> he's like, Eddie used to clean the sewers. <laughs> Yeah, He's like proud. I told Jim, I was like, Jim, you got to get in the sewer business. <laughs> Jim, 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 who? Jim, who? James Brown. He called him Jim Brown for some reason. <laughs> was he was he, like, yeah. Was he talking about Dan Aykroyd, but he kept saying Danny Aykroyd? <laughs> yeah. He kept saying, oh, like, yeah. I know Danny Aykroyd a long time. He's like, before I became a comedian, I was already a big fan of Danny Aykroyd. And I went up to Danny and I said, Danny, baby, you inspired me to become a great comedian. And <laughs> know what he told him? What? Tell him. He said, go choke on a sandwich, Piscopo. Okay. <laughs> You're uh, through here. Uh, I, I feel really guilty. I, I wasn't thinking any of that would happen. My father's at a meeting with him, like at a dinner. He gave him his number. He said that was I his agent. I don't blame you, Mateo. Yeah. I don't. Blame Joe Piscopo 
mistaken me for some sort of scumbag who cleans sewers. <laughs> <laughs> that was that went sour so unexpectedly. I don't know why. I don't know what gave him the impression that I was a sewer cleaner when I <laughs> a gutter cleaner, basically. Like, <laughs> gutter cleaner. Yeah, I, I don't know what gave him that. But I I spoke to him and literally I'm on the phone thinking this is top five greatest conversations <laughs> in my life. I've had great conversations too. Yeah, yeah. I, no, yeah. none of that on air. Greg, how long into the conversation did you start to think that this is one of the special ones? Fucking seconds in. (laughs) Seconds. I'm like... Immediate connection. Once he was like, hello, this is Joe, baby. I was like, seconds in. I'm like, this is (laughs) going to be... be (laughs) The new Gene Dinopoli topping that. Then minutes in, I'm like, I even said to him, confirmation without any context and know what he told me he said like my confirmation was great baby <laughs> that's all he said yeah oh my god uh. and i was like let's talk let's talk about god joe and he's like he's like well i'm a man of faith i'm a man of faith i was like that joe this is going to be the beginning of a beautiful uh friendship and then <laughs> I remember him saying, I heard the conversation when after you said that. He said, I, I like that. I like that a lot, Greg. Yeah. And you guys continue to talk about religion. Yeah. And, and then after that whole wonderful conversation, a wonderful back and forth, he's like, come over Monday, 8, 8 a.m. And I'm ready to clean my fucking sewer. And I... <laughs> Your gutter, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, gutter. Yeah. And I was like, Joe, that's not what I'm here for. <laughs> And he's, like, and he's like, well, I, I, listen, he's like, you got to create a path on your own, buddy. And I, I and then I, I was like, all right, you know, so anyway, this Monday, I go over to Joe Piscopo's house. <laughs> it's Ben. Get Ben. Ben, come over here, buddy. I like Ben. Here, ben. Ben's a good guy. Yo, You're going to love this guy. Here. You're going to like this guy. It's important that we ben. all support each yeah, other. Fellas, so, fellas, how fellas. How are you, Ben? Yeah, yeah, ben. I, I was good. Ben, ben, a little closer. A little closer. Like pull the mic yeah, out. Come over so here. Pull yeah. the mic yeah. out of there. Actually, stand over there. So Yo, that, I was oh, good. I can't. No, I, no, no, you're not go, back up, go back over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just don't rip no, no, just up. Just hold on. Get him out of control. Yeah, yeah. Get him in a stool or something. This guy, he's a little crazy. Take my, take my. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Look at him. No, no, no. Hold on. Relax. I'll stand. I'll stand. Rip out wires. You're fucking psycho. Yo, I'm upset. Yo, no. I was good. I was good. I came here. I got here early. At three o'clock, I'm pissed at you guys. I've been in New Jersey for five fucking hours. Well, the show started at eight. I love the energy. I love the energy, man. And oh, I, I appreciate man. that. Yeah. I t- yeah. I did say seven, no? Didn't I say seven? Yeah, yeah, but I, I can't. I come prepared. I come you, prepared. You, you've been here since what? Two in the morning? Yo, I didn't. I didn't realize. <laughs> yo, he said three in the morning. He said three, not two. Do you do that with like, your work too? You get there five hours early. What the hell were you doing? Uh, yeah, at two if in I'm the unfamiliar. I'm from. I like to be there ready. I like. I like to. I like to what study you? my surroundings. I like to know what's going on. Are you sizing up the competition right now? Are you sizing up the competition? <laughs> he's sitting on a stool. We had to yeah. get him a stool because he came on mic and started ripping off wires. <laughs> he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's a man. So man. He, uh, looks like yo. he snorted the whole sword us. Yo, yo, yo! I've been ge- I've been getting treated terribly for five hours, by and who? I'm a little I'm a little upset. I, I don't see why. Uh, by who? You know what? There's gonna be oh, a lot by. of people here gonna treat you very well because we're all gonna support each other. Right. That's uh, right. Like that. like right. Yes, 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 yes. Now, who was the son of a bitch mistreating you? Tell me about him. Okay. Was it that fucking Governor Murphy? I'll take it. I'll take it. Don't worry about here, Mateo. Yeah. Oh. The penal cleanser. Hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Ben. Put okay, him on okay, phone. Okay. Hey, what's up, buddy? Okay. Yes. All right. No problem. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little. I'm a little sick. All right. Yeah. When you come in, just uh, see Stevie at the bar. Okay, buddy. Okay. Um. Where, where, where am I going? To the left or the right? The left. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, a social club. Okay, so it's it's on Tunnelly or off a Tunnelly? You get a lot of punches on Tunnelly. Shut up. Trying to give him directions. <laughs> uh, off Tunnelly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah, okay. All right, give me one sec. Cause I'm a, that, that was a long time ago. Yeah, okay, give me one sec. I'll see you in a little bit, all right? All right, buddy. Okay. <laughs> 
That was my mother. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now let this man that speak. Was, that was the great Papino Clemenza who's going to bless us with his fucking presence. <laughs> now let ben, this man speak. I got to hear this guy. This guy's a gem. Oh, very excited. Very excited. Good, 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 yeah. good, good. Yo, what's up with the coffee shops with no bathrooms? It's like they want you to feel. It's like they want you to feel what it's like to live in New Jersey. So they pump you with with the coffee. They pump you with the coffee. By the way, Brooklyn, it's it's more expensive in New Jersey. Well, in the coffee shop. I think Vinny's right, Ben. I think you have a drug problem. <laughs> yeah, where where do you do that? They pump you with coffee. They drink you with coffee. They pump it. They pump it into you. When well, when when you when you pump like Bane and fucking Batman and Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Ben. Go. Of course. You know, there was a funnel with coffee. You're walking around with a bladder filled with coffee and no bathrooms. And now I'm walking up and down the uh, the major street over there and looking for a place to go. The ba- or any place that looks decent is closed. I knock on the door of some car shop and the, the bathroom was opened. I, I'm going to find out what the name of this place was. <laughs> I, 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 I went to the deli and bought, bought a whole bunch of eggs, and they're sitting in my car right now. Why, yeah. why did you buy <laughs> eggs at a deli? Well, I'll him explain. and his boys were about to egg someone's house. Come on. <laughs> okay. So I walk into this place. The, the bathroom is right behind the guy I asked politely to go to the bathroom. I think that's the problem. I asked politely. If I just said, can I fucking use the bathroom? It would have been cool. But I asked politely, and he said, no, sorry. Okay, with us with such a, with such glee, and uh, so I walked outside and, and and I peed I peed on the truck, but that's not that's not enough. So I bought a bunch of eggs, and we'll see. And if I don't win this fucking thing, I, I I'm gonna have a lot of rage to to uh, uh, cathart, and that's the way I'm going to do it. I like how you talk ben, like you ca- like Ben. Can I introduce you to my psychiatrist, <laughs> Matt? <laughs> yeah, yes, Matt. Yes. How you doing, buddy? Could you make sense of all this? Um, so I was born and raised in Jersey, and I'm the politest person in this room. <laughs> yeah, you look like a hand yes. surgeon. Yes. So. The exce- you're the exception that proves the rule. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> exactly why I said he's a hand surgeon. <laughs> These glasses Mark are said, oh, Mike, he looks like a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, uh, when John Cena confirmed the death of Osama uh, bin Laden. The happiest day of my life. yeah. <laughs> How great is Cena? John Cena is really proving to be our, my generation's greatest actor He's now. Killing it. He's killing it. I mean, every 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 episode of Peacemaker, I was just like, wow. Who would have thought? I mean, the range on this guy. Was he gay on the show? He's I bisexual. Uh, they, they had to uh, chew on it, that in there. No, they don't yeah. actually. He's he's more just bisexual because he's like just a bumbling idiot who's horny. <laughs> like he's just that's so hilarious. That he's like just Mateo. he's just so horny. I'm not bisexual. He's, that's what it sounds like. He's just, it's more not just yet. like he's so horny he just fucks anything. Uh, but it's not like funny, they don't make it a whole thing. In uh, fact, like in fact, he's mostly straight. But it, they kind of allude to the fact that he's a little when gay. it come when it's crunch time, he will fuck a dude. <laughs> All right. If a guy comes up to him in the right daytime, that's prison yeah. rules. Well, that's he's good. that's that's the story because oh. in in the Suicide Squad. He's been in Bell Rev Prison. Oh yeah, I know the DC show. I'm yeah, t- yeah, I, yeah. I've been watching it. I didn't recognize what you're talking about. Now I recognize. Yeah. What? what? Why, are why are you? you did, why'd you say that like a wigger? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> why are you doing that? <laughs> what are you listening to through those headphones? You're not listening to. Yeah. You're not listening to this show. You're listening. I, I, I am trying. You're, you're listening to Kanye right now. <laughs> no, I'm not. He's listening to the Dylan Negri set. <laughs> you're listening to Dylan. <laughs> yeah, you're listening to Dylan Negri yeah. do stand up. Yeah, here, open his letter. Also, you don't you, sound angry. Also, you <laughs> stole my beer before. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, What'd you just hand him? Well, no it's idea. an important just, segment. It's I, very important for the show. Take, we were talking about John Cena we'll, we'll fucking guys. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll we'll do it. Open it now. Mateo just handed. Yeah, there's a, a portfolio. What are you giving me? What is this? You know what this is? You're like my uncle who comes over. <laughs> Find that in your own blood. It's like gives me like a. Old is it important? It's an important achievement, the Will. Co- the comedic. T- what? You know I can't read. What's the uh, achievement? You I might like also <laughs> like oh, come town. Yeah, we're on the same content I algorithm. Don't give a shit. I don't listen. Wait, to Wait, let me see this. Let me see this. Oh, oh, so you guys are now on the. If you like this, yeah, you may also. Uh, like yeah, this. yeah. This is gotcha. this is so endearing to me that that Mateo printed this off. <laughs> He's so Mateo proud Mateo printed this. off the iTunes. If you search for this show, the Greg and Rob yeah. podcast. The the algorithm also will tell you you might also like Come Town, the sit down with Mike Racine, and Mateo's other podcast. <laughs> 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 which, which, uh, I got, which I gotta be honest, it cheapens it. It cheapens. It you doesn't cheapen your thing on there because right. it's just, I'm. He actually photoshopped yeah. it on. I did not <laughs> Photoshop it. You can look it up yourself. We, we are a bad gangster movie compared to Goodfellas, and Come Town is the Goodfellas. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, this yeah, this sh- this show is uh what would it be? Like um like um What's that fucking like all those bad gangster movies like By, Frank yeah. Vincent? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. This uh, is this is Russo. God. This show is gaudy and Come Town is good films. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not right. trying to make a Gotti point. I'm trying to say credit. that like it's an, ach- an achievement. It could be like we're, we're Chicago overcoat. What was that? Uh, yeah. what, what was the the neighborhood show? What was the fucking Graves End? Graves End. Yeah, Graves End. No, yeah. I think this is this is nice, Mateo. I don't know why you printed this out. I, I don't. Oh. Know. <laughs> why would you waste it? Because we wouldn't have believed him. I honestly, I love the, I love the spirit. The, the go get them attitude of this yeah. where it's like I'm gonna print we're coming out, for you I'm gonna print out the fucking iTunes cover yeah. page I like that you show. protected the picture yeah, yeah you put it in a dossier <laughs> get, get it back you it, like, you, like you're deep throat in a parking lot you're I like hey that. hey come here I gotta give you something and you hand over that file and it's like wow the algorithm says yeah. you should also listen right. to come down look, look at him he's a shaky yeah. mess right now I hope you went to Staples and printed that out <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, <laughs> he was like oh, so wait how do I do this I send the file to you right. and then the person by the counter is looking at it like what the fuck is this I hope like some poor 17 year old girl is just like what the fuck are you printing yeah. out what are you talking about 17 oh uh, but the staples. employee that's yeah, yeah it's, I think at, I at, at the Kinko's I go to Kinko's yeah. I got, like a, yeah, like I got a teenage Puerto, Puerto Rican <laughs> probably helping you right. no she they're all really bl- where it. did you go to print that out uh, my place. So we I have, a, have a printer. We have a printer. laser printer. You have a printer. Yeah. Whoa. Wow, dude. I knew that. I should have did some classic shock jock shit and be like, I like it, Mateo, and then rip it in your fucking face. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I, have, I have backups. <laughs> <laughs> right. is copy. You'll never be able to destroy this. <laughs> Keep ripping him. He's like, yeah. I don't care. There's plenty more where that came from, but a tough guy. <laughs> what a tough guy move that would have been. <laughs> but I'm just like, hey, Mateo, what do you think it is? Care. <laughs> Yeah. Now the, be- the the real power move That's would be to sound. eat it. Oh, yeah, hell to eat yeah. It. yeah. Uh, swallow it, and then and then Mateo yeah. says, "Oh, I've printed more." Oh, I did. And then I you have. go, "Oh, damn it! I just ate all that paper. <laughs> damn, no a whole piece of A4 that. paper. I could have split that with my." By family. the way, because I have multiple backups, and also physically and digitally, I all need right. note to self have this copy or one of the copies laminated. You just make a note to yourself. What the yourself? fuck is the point? Yeah. That this whole show is a note to self. It's yeah. being recorded. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. You could have just we could have just listened. Just time stamp it, and we'll let you know. Okay. All right. Time note to self. Check the time. Twenty one eighteen minutes. All right. Twenty one eighteen. Note to self, uh, uh, timestamp this. <laughs> Mateo has backups or whatever. I do. <laughs> Bizarre. I, you should flush them down the toilet like Trump did with those documents. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. Did he? Cl- don't, didn't they claim that he ate one of the contracts? One. One of them. It was on a uh, post-it uh, note. That's impossible. Didn't have sugar on it. Son of a bitch. Oh god. We, thank God we don't have ten more minutes of this. Yeah, I know. I mean, fucking right now we'll have great tans though. Probably. It's beautiful sunlight. Oh, I, I got a hoodie on. It's yeah. impossible. Yeah. Mateo gonna walk out of here looking like Dean Martin. How? Because he, because he, he always, he was known to have a great tan. Yeah, he does. I was gonna smoke a cigar and everything. That's a Mike Dowd cigar. That's a really, those are a good brand. That's uh from Mike Dowd, from the seven five seven five guy. I know. I met that guy. I know you did. He was perfectly obnoxious. I know he was. I've, I've seen him. He actually him. was less obnoxious than I thought he would be. That's though. why he was perfectly obnoxious. Yeah. No, I've met him a few times. He's like, yeah, yeah. We, we did a show, right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. We did a show and they showed the movie the seven five after. Yes. An hour and a half long comedy show. Because that's always a good thing. It's never a good thing to do. It's always a smart thing. Always a smart decision. Have people sit through an hour and a half of comedy. comedy. And then premiere a movie that's already been out for 10 years. And we're, we're, watching, we're, we're watching him watch the movie. And it was just the funniest fucking shit. No, I, I, I've been in situations like that. Because yeah. he kept grabbing people going, this is what I said this. And then he would repeat lines that are going to be said in about a matter of seconds. Like, he's just going to... He just repeats lines from the movie. People it, were walking away from him. People were walking away and horrified. He, he, he was just standing by himself at one point, just murmuring to himself the lines from the movie. Just loving Everyone it. Everyone was just walking away from him. He was like Capone in Bullock Empire watching... <laughs> the he was, that's, a good, that's a good example. He was actually a pretty decent guy. He really was. No, no, he, I know, I know, I know. I actually liked I, him a lot. I did know him. I, ex- I was expecting a horror show. I was <laughs> expecting, like, a guy that was, like... Crazy. He was tall. Too. You know, you he is huge. He's a huge guy. You, you meet some kick a little guys. ass, huh? Yeah. What was that? I'm saying you meet some of these guys and you think they're gonna be crazy. Mm. You know, you think they're like kind of normal, but they're not. Like he was like he wasn't even that bad a guy. But he also rolled with two bodyguards. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For like, he was paying them for no reason. Yeah, like those guys. Nobody were playing was the touching part. him. Those guys no. were really right. They were like playing the part. Yeah. 
They like, they knew they had all the moves, all the moves, all the bodyguard moves. Just like, hey. like you, you can't get. Do, do you mind if look, I, I I know he sells these. Do you mind if I look at the like just the labeling? Of course. Yeah, go ahead. What were you saying, Rob? You touching a? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't want to make any more Mateo Gay jokes. I think they're hacking. <laughs> no. Um, no, those guys had all the moves like five feet away from Mike, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like give you, Mike his space. Give him space. Come on, boys. Wrap it up. People go over to him for like an autograph. They're like, wrap it up. Wrap it up, kid. Let's get it moving. Yeah. I I, I never really, I only seen that documentary one time. I've seen it a few times. It's I've seen right. it, I only it's seen it great. once. It's okay. They, they should make it an f- actual movie. That's one of those I've always thought, I always thought they should I, have. I think they yeah. were, and then the uh, pandemic happened. Oh, yeah, it did. I think it was in production. Turns out I didn't want to star in it. It was Al Pacino? Yeah, I was in a play, Mike Dow, 32 <laughs> years old. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. But again. I'm 95. <laughs> It was gonna be me and Bobby again. Do that. We're gonna de-age ourselves, make make it better looking. Fucking. I apologize, for looking so old in the Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> and then in but in what's it called? In uh, Once Upon a Time of Hollywood, he was really good in that. Who? Uh, Pacino. Pacino. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, well, it was Rina. kind of it was a good it was a good cameo for him. Yeah. He was good. In, he was good in the Irishman. Nah. No, he no, wasn't. wasn't. He that like that opening ten like ten Joel minutes. Was awful. Oh, you, so you guys didn't care for his obsession no, I know. with ice cream no. throughout the movie? I thought that was no. Like point. the reason is like when you, when, when Al Pacino comes into the film as Hofstra, the first line out of his mouth, he's trying. You, you can tell Al Pacino is trying to do a Chicago accent, but he can't do it, so he just gives it up instantly. I guess I don't know, but I I think uh, I think yeah, like they had like this weird, he had like a weird obsession with ice cream throughout the movie. I know and it was like you know. I, apparently, Jimmy Hoffa had like uh, like quirks, yeah, yeah quirks. ticks and shit. But you didn't have to add that to the fucking movie. Three and a half hours. The guy just it's loves four, ice cream. It's four hours. It's like what a childlike thing. And also, his relationship with uh, De Niro's daughter in the movie. I was oh, thought that was, was so annoying. Cre- it was so forced and creepy. It was. I, I agree. I, I tried agree. not to when I was watching. I try not to like think that way. I was like, all right, come on, cut it out. But it just became across it, very it was so as if he was grooming her. I yeah, that was weird. That was fucking weird. I that was a weird also, thing. Also, I hated the fact they had to use uh, that actress, Anna Pankin, I think her name she is. She had no lines in the movie. She had no lines. She's an actress. Pank- who's, who's Anna Pankin again? She was. She played the do- the, do- the older version of De Niro's daughter. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, what was she also in? No, I don't know. No. She was nominated for a few she's, awards, but I don't really she's know She's been movies. around. I've seen her in shit. I can't the think of anything movies. off the top of my head. Yeah, exactly. She's but kind of like a bland, fading into the background actress. Yeah. Yeah. She just fucking sat there blank, just staring at fucking... Joe Pesci looking all gangster. Pesci was really good in that movie, though. Yeah, he was. I gotta give He Pesci was the best credit. actor in that film. So fucking funny. If anyone saw this right now, they'll be like, these three guys came to the woods to talk about the Irishman. We went to Six Flags last year. Well, not last year, two years ago. During yeah. the pandemic. During the pandemic. When it was always yeah. open. It yeah. was. Yeah, and it was like torture. You had to wear a mask. Like throughout the park. Yeah, and there were masks when you're throwing up from the ride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking. Uh, Nick Cara got kicked off a roller coaster. He got kicked off a roller coaster. What, for being too fat? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Being too fat. Yeah. Was, really? Yeah. yeah and then when he got, what'd they say? Like, what I, I think also because he was... get your fat fucking ass <laughs> up. <laughs> he couldn't close the thing. He couldn't yeah. close... We were on the Batman ride. Yeah. yeah. And that's the harness one, and he could, his, his stomach was too big, and... Uh, he couldn't close the yeah. They couldn't see close that it. would be the moment where I'm like, I'm gonna make some changes. It in was my life. no. He went and got a fucking funnel cake. I gotta right be honest, <laughs> it's a boss move to go right at, as soon as you get thrown off the roller coaster. For being too like, bad. what is he gonna do? He's gonna start dieting that mm-hmm. second right there. If yeah. I got kicked off the roller coaster, I'm like, fuck it, yeah, yeah. give me the fucking funnel uh, cake. Yeah. And he's only like what, 26? Uh, he's younger at the time, than me. 24. He's 24. Yeah. It's two years ago. Uh, it was two years. They, ago. Uh, I mean, you can see. Also, he made also, it was to his defense. To his defense, don't say it because he's. Ah, no, yeah, that's, he what, is. that's what we kept saying yeah. after to make him feel but, better. Oh, we just kept going. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're like six foot four. It's your height. It's not Nothing so much. Nothing to do with his stomach being in the way. <laughs> <laughs> but also, um, what's it called? So when he got kicked off the roller coaster, we couldn't help but like laugh. It was, and we're all, all, so all funny. It's the funniest. And he was acting like a complete jackass so, too. Why? So he's on he could, well, how was he gonna fit though? He, he couldn't get the thing the, on. So, so yeah. he's on the side as he's as he, they're like you got. What go. exactly did they say? They're like you got to get off. We can't get. We can't. Yeah. We can't put the thing down. Hmm. So then he's on the side. You know, like, like and they were, hold on, on one, one second. And they were trying to. Oh, they were. Oh, yeah. they wanted him on that there ride. There was this hot chick. <laughs> oh, it was just mortifying. Slamming, slamming the harness onto his stomach. <laughs> and he just got people pushing back up. Oh. He just he was like, boom, boom. And he just 
about this. She was like giving there. chest compressions. Was <gasps> it close or no? Were no, they no, no, no. He couldn't. He couldn't be on the ride. He couldn't be on the ride. Yeah, Who else went on, on it? Pat. It was me, Greg, Pat, Farouk, and, and Farouk's uh, friend. Farouk fit. Farouk yeah. fit. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Maybe. I, I, I was the, heavy at the time too. And the, I, I I was afraid that was gonna happen to me. At the time, I was just kind of losing weight. I guess it depends where the the fat is proportioned. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and his his stomach was was humongous. So then the he's on the platform as he's getting kicked yeah. off, and he's just like hopping around, like stomping, acting his feet, like a complete jackass, you know, like just fucking around. But what does he want? He can't fit. He can't get on the ride. But I mean, he was just joking. He's just fucking around, like to show that it didn't really bother him that much. <laughs> like, so he's just like, yeah, he's not gonna make changes. He's doing a bunch of. Shit. Yeah, it's been two years. He's He's been on the show. You guys know him. You see how you see how fucking fat he is. Yeah. <laughs> then, he used to be thin. He used to be. A he used to be a very thin. Yeah, he guy. did. Yes, he did. Yeah. He's in shape. Yeah. So they just hopping around, at like a complete jackass, and then yeah. the the girl just goes, "Stop doing that! You're goes, shaking the platform." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the girl just goes. You gotta leave. You gotta go. You gotta go. Was just, just on the platform? He's just acting like an idiot and fucking. He, just... he, he had a pretty dark night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he did. Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nick should be the new and, Joker. And, <laughs> and, and and then there was funny. So then we go on the, uh, the actually the Joker ride. Yeah, and like he was like again very loose. But as soon as we got to like that, he fit on that. We, yeah, he got on that. Yeah, so, but as soon as we got to the front. You could have told he was like, he started getting nervous. Is this going to happen yeah. again? Yeah. Did they get it on easy? He got on, yeah. yeah. He, what was better, the Joker or the Batman ride? Batman ride. Batman ride. Joker ride. Awesome. The, the Batman yeah. ride's not that scary. To be nah. honest, fucking, we went we went to Six Flags, and first off, we were too old to go to fucking Six Flags. Yeah, yeah. it was kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was like a, one of those crazy fucking quarantine ideas. Yeah. Give me a course. You got to do like drugs or drink when you're at Six Flags. I did I, mushrooms. I don't, I don't think you should. I don't like. Oh, those are good. They yeah. did shrooms and you, you snuck them in. Does it make I the think. rides more scary or more fun? I didn't do shrooms. Dude, I go in sober. Yeah. Did yeah, it make I the fucking, rides better I, or I, worse? I love roller coasters. The, uh, well, um, I, no, it just made the weight because I don't get the flash pass. I'm a man of the people. Yeah, I, I wait, wait in line. I, flash pass. I don't yeah, do that fuck fucking that. shit. I, I wait online. No, it just made the weight funner because I, I was like just fucking. Last year, um, when I lived at, above a church, the pastor. I'm pretty sure it's a cult. When I lived above a cult, uh, the, uh, the the pastor comes over to us. He's like, you guys produce a lot of cardboard, but he didn't want to like just come outright and be like, you drink a lot. Well, he kept asking us, you guys throw a lot of parties? Yeah. And like <laughs> Farouk and Nick, who I lived with at the time, they were like, well, we really don't have too many people. We over. haven't had a single person over. And it's, like, it's just me every week. It's just yeah, yeah. It's yeah just imply I just, that I'm a gigantic alcoholic, yeah. which whatever. The pastor was did like, they try to recruit you after saying that? <laughs> they did not. No, no. no. But I, but they did mention when we met with them, we had to have a meeting with them for some fucking reason. Uh, we, they bought us Chinese food. Yeah. None of us ate the Chinese food except for Nick because he can't keep his fucking mouth shut around food. <laughs> um, and they did mention that they did um, they did do twelve steps. Uh, they did t- twelve step programs. They were doing twelve step programs yeah. before the pandemic, yeah. and they were starting to bring them back. And I was like, hey, what you the fuck? What was very dude? funny about that meeting? It was the most awkward fucking thing yeah. ever. It seemed like it would be. It, it was so awkward. Mm. And we're just sitting there. It's the four of us. They had the brattiest kid, And they too. had some kid. Yeah, he was, he was so bad. Their, their kid was so bratty. Yeah. And then uh, we were trying to get out of there in the worst way. I just I had a friend of mine call me yeah. to get to go back upstairs. You were the first one to scum right. us over and, and leave. Yeah. I left the three of them downstairs. Yeah. And then Rob came upstairs. Yeah. And then the two of them came up. Like, uh, Farouk and Nick came back upstairs. No, I had like the half I hour had, Hold on. God. Came back up a half hour later. And we we're, were like, where were you? And the pastor was showing them. What? I had to check out because the pastor turned around. This is what prompted me to. I was going to stick it out. And what prompted me to leave. Yeah. The pastor turns around to Farouk and he goes, would you like to see my rock collection? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, dude, I got to. I gotta go. I text Greg. I'm like, call me immediately. I, it, like, I thought that was gonna get very weirdly sexual for oh, a second. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Nick and, and then I'm in the back, and this guy's showing off these rocks. He goes, I caught this one in Lake Erie. Nick and Farouk like, downstairs for a good 20 minutes looking yeah. at fucking rocks. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, holy shit. Like literally, like hunched over. He's like, would you like to see my rock collection? What are the what, the the wife turns around? Yeah. She's like, yeah, people at our church. They get mad at us, like when they leave the church. They get mad, like what? Like one she gets death threats. She gets yeah, like, that's death call threats. Call it a cult. Yeah, yeah. One like one guy turned around to this lady and was because she sings and she was a piano teacher, and she's also a singing instructor, 
and uh, one guy was uh, disappointed with the church, and he left a note on the door of the church that says, I hope you get raped and killed and your singing sucks. Yeah. Something like that. Raped and killed and, 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 and you're singing and shit. And also you're singing shit. Yeah, which was like... Like as if like raped and killed <laughs> yeah. wasn't enough. I know. That's, that's, yeah. that's you're really singing a <laughs> shit. It says a lot about the was, state of that junk religion. It was Jesus, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was so much. And she just told us this in passing. And she just said... Like, like it didn't even bother her. Yeah. We were okay. like, oh my, it's the most hor- horrible thing you can say to a human being. She's so like, no, bizarre. I was... I get they're, you know, they're, re- they're reborn Christians down there? Huh? Not even. I don't think so. No, I think they are. They're definitely born again Christians. Yeah. No, I mean they are, but... He was the pastor with the rock collection. He just kept telling us about like he's like, yeah, when I back before I was a pastor, I sinned. I, I did a lot of it. He yeah. definitely you imitated his voice perfectly. Dude, he he definitely was like a former gay guy. Oh, was, I know. Yeah, yeah crack yeah. addict, my rock. He was all over Farouk. He kept touching Farouk's chest. That's very very bizarre. He's he was a lying shape. goddamn drug addict who liked to suck. Dick. What was Farouk oh, wait, wait, wearing? His garb? No, no garb. No, no, when no, he wears that, I want to touch him too. <laughs> who doesn't? It's shiny. It's nice. It really is. I love that stuff. It's <laughs> silk. Yeah, it's silk. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a it's like a real it's textile. I don't yeah. know. Is that a word? If you were. If you're interested in hearing that, whatever he just came out with. <laughs> you're probably not, but it, it fills the air. That might have been the most unnecessary thing said in radio history. Yeah, it was only two minutes long. That worth. might have been the most unnecessary thing said in radio history, and I've listened to Opie. I know. Right? Oof. Yeah. Oof. You know, his pod- just Opie. His podcast is painful. His podcast is one of the most brilliant podcasts I've ever seen. Opie Radio? Opie Radio. Okay. He 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 sets up a camera. It's a live stream. He's uh yeah. He's always he's he's like in a hotel room. Yeah. He rents out a hotel room to he record does? his podcast. Why isn't he doing it in his own place? Uh because he's a freak. Okay. He should do it here. He should do it here. We should have him on. Would you want him on? I would love him. Why do you want Gene to Napoli? Wait, hold on. Before we get, before we get yeah. to whatever, I don't even know who that guy is. Gene and Napoli? That's the guy you're trying to book? Go yeah, on. No, we, we'll, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get to that in a second. Do you think you can get Opie, uh, Opie on the show. We have, we know Bachetti. Who knows him? We can probably. We're not gonna go. No, we're not going to Mike. Okay, okay. I want you to reach out. Okay. To Opie. Okay. Greg Opie. Hughes. Tell him that we are humongous fans. Okay. <laughs> of we, tell him we're humongous fans of the Opie Radio Podcast. Yeah. Okay. And through our that through that podcast, we learned of his prior work with the Opie and Anthony show. Okay. And. That we think he's just fantastic. We love his TikTok. We follow him on TikTok. Yep. And uh, tell him that we love the show and we would love that we have a podcast. We have a small little podcast yeah. of our own, and ask him to be our guest. Okay. Do you know? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try to do that. Yeah. And then when he comes on, we'll sandbag. We'll sandbag the we'll shit. Sandbag, sandbag, sandbag mean? Him. We'll sandbag him. We'll sandbag him. Okay. Well, what, what, what questions would you ask him? Opie? Uh, I, I don't. I don't really have any on my mind. I got to prep. He's for really that. just so irrelevant. He's pretty boring. I know, he's so irrelevant. The only thing you would actually yeah. talk to him about is like Opie and Anthony. But we just treat him like a freak, right? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. like just like a gawk at him, it'll be great. Yeah. We, we should treat him like yeah, like a total freak. Yeah, like he kind of is. Like he's not a. F- I'm not a famous guy anymore. I'm pretty humble. <laughs> <laughs> do you I do these guys show, and it's it, it, and, and you know they don't know me. They know me from the Opie, my my actual thing, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And then they lied and said they knew me from. The, I I looked at them. I knew. I knew that they, they, they were, already knew me. They listened to us on any W when, when, when we were the biggest radio show in the game. <laughs> it's a fucking. Do you want to know why uh, Gene Napoli we could guess? Okay, who, wait. Yeah. First off, who is this fella? The only thing I know about him is that Greg talked to him like four years right. ago. He does a lot of podcast bookings. <laughs> okay. And every podcast he in like he's, he's booked on, he potentially brings a huge amount of listens with him. Oh, so we can't even fuck with this guy. I have his cell phone number. Uh, well, I, 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 don't, no, I, I'm sorry, I, I said I can't fuck with him. Oh, uh, okay. We could kind of fuck with him. Because you said you described him as a stupid old Italian man. He was. A- I When I spoke to him a couple of years ago, yeah. I tried booking a show out of his place, and he was just like, yeah, like. Is he the DiPaolo guy? Yeah, yeah. I oh. tried booking Nick DiPaolo. And he was like, he, he was he was gonna give me like two thousand dollars to run an open mic out of his fucking venue. Yeah, he was pretty stupid. I, I was like, dude, like we're gonna do an actual comedy show. He's Some like, Yonkers, nonetheless, right? I'll give you three thousand dollars. You bring in the comics, I bring in the people. We have a big night. And then, uh, then he just starts explaining to me how his brother was trying to like rob him from the like trying yeah, to steal. Yeah, I know. He told him. me the same story. Yeah. 
or something like that. Yeah. And he's like, my fucking scumbag of a brother just left me off with this mess of a fucking place. But with my, your fucking smarts and my expertise, we could make a big fucking <laughs> night. We could make a big goddamn night. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, this sounds good, dude. Like, I'm going to bring in some headline. He was just like, name me some headliners. Name some headliners. I want to hear them. And I'm just like, yeah, I'll bring in Nick DiPaolo, Kevin Brennan, Artie Lang. And he goes, whoa, whoa, fuck that. What'd you say? I'm like, Kevin Brennan, Nick DiPaolo, Artie Lang. He's like, Artie Lang? He played the place two years ago. Didn't even fucking show up. He's a fat fucking scumbag. And if I ever see him, I'll punch him in the fucking face. And here's the thing about you. I don't like you no more. <laughs> because you associate yourself with fat fucking heroin addicts like Artie fucking Lang. And you're a fat fucking scumbag yourself. <laughs> I actually said it. Yeah. 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 Okay. I, I, I'm like, I'm like, no, no, I don't know Artie Lang, dude. And he's like, anyone who associates with Artie Lang, I want nothing to do with. Okay, Greg. All right. He saw me call, call me Greg out of nowhere. And I'm like, dude, I don't know Artie Lang. And if if you don't want him, we're not booking him. He's like, absolutely not. If he comes here, I'm punching you and Artie <laughs> Lang in the fucking face. And I'm just like, I'm like, dude, all right. Like, I get it. No Artie Lang. He's like. That being said, my expertise and your fucking no, your knowledge of the comedy scene, we're gonna make up a big fucking night. And he's like, well, you know, I'm an entertainer too. He's an Elvis impersonator. Yeah, he's like, I'm an entertainer, and I'm like, I'm like, oh really? Like, I'm like, what do you do? He's like, glad you asked. Yeah. I'm an Elvis impersonator. And I'm like, he does it really well though. Well, here's the thing. I'm on the phone with him. I'm like, oh, that's great, man. Like, <laughs> and, and and then I'm like, so we're gonna, you know, no Artie Lang, haha. <laughs> he's like, you know, no Artie Lang, baby. <laughs> And I'm like, what? He's like, no Ari Lang, okay? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah. Uh, so I, I'm thinking maybe two thousand dollars. We're gonna, you know, for the headline. He's like, two thousand dollars sounds pretty, pretty good. He's like, the, he's like the colonel. Will, the colonel will feed us the money. He starts doing an Elvis impression. I know you told me that. Yeah. Uh, on the phone with me, and I'm like. Okay, this is the craziest person I've ever spoken to. <laughs> he's, so, he's always fine with me. And then he, and then at the end of the phone call, he just goes, "Like, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna work, we're gonna, we're gonna do big things together, baby." <laughs> with your knowledge, baby. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, and then I never heard from him ever again. I just, oh, he texted me on New Year's Eve. I might have, I might still have the text. I would have to check. Was this recent? No, this oh. is two, three years ago. He texted me on New Year's Eve. He goes, "How about that open mic that we're, we're, we're planning?" He still called it an open mic, and I was just like, I, was, I never got back to him. I, I, because I, I, Apollo wanted to charge us, want to charge me and Gene <laughs> two thousand dollars. No more, like ten thousand. Oh, really? Uh, you told me, um, you told me, it's just, someone told me a screenshot. It said like two thousand. No, it was ten thousand. Okay. Yeah, the Apollo wanted to charge us, and obviously I couldn't buck. Uh, book Artie Lang, and I couldn't book Mike Bichetti because he's associated with Artie Lang. I know, I so, know. And uh, also, DePaulo didn't want us to host the show. He didn't want me and you hosting. He's like, yeah. uh, he just uses his opener. Yeah, he used I think Joe List. No, it was like a girl. No, oh, yeah, no, like he no, Rob Dreider on that. Well, I know, I know. The only uh, DePaulo was going to charge us ten thousand dollars and only pay his opener two hundred of that ten thousand yeah. dollars. Cheap ass. That's cheap. That's really, that's a that's cheap really, fucking man. That's like that makes him look bad. Yeah, it? yeah. He's like, wait, what is this? Is capitalism? <laughs> Phil, nine eight seven. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, the blacks. Hey. uh... <laughs> So it's no surprise to me why Michael Jackson is so famous for doing the moonwalk. You know, because moving backwards is what black people are best at. <laughs> oh. No one else come close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they run really fast, too. <laughs> you know, I, it, it goes way back. Because uh, the blacks were not smart enough to invent the wheel. So they, <laughs> so they run faster than the rest of us who are more you know, inventive. <laughs> well, more technologically advanced. Mateo <laughs> objected. <laughs> Whatever, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm a degenerate, but I'm drug-free. Thank you. That's one ah. That's one positive thing about me. Yeah. Uh, by that, I mean, like, I don't do crack or heroin for obvious reasons. I don't support black businesses. <laughs> 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 yeah, don't fall for it, guys. Yeah, they, they, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mateo, are you lighting him because he's... No, he has 40 seconds left. Controversial jokes? Hey, no. Thank you, uh, 
How did you shock Mateo? They, uh, first. they hey, came uh, together. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I did take him here. Phil, Phil go ahead. Yeah, it's going yeah. Up, uh, uh, a lot of my black friends, they warned me how strong and tough black women are. Uh, but turns out... It turns out that was a myth. I had a fight with a black girl and I beat the shit out of her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she said, cheers. <laughs> All right, fine, oh fine. God. Fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, uh, yeah. Hey, uh, I, I don't like when people say the N word on black guys who I know personally. I'm like, hey, that's my property you're talking to. Oh! oh. That is dumb. Oh! Wow. Wow! And what was I think right now the oh best co- the best part of the competition so far? That was a final round for no, both of these guys. I, I disagree. I think the best part of the competition is when we all slept during Tom Papadano's set. <laughs> 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 That's very true. This is a very tight. Is he still here? I, is I, he, this is my favorite one so far. I've only been here for two battles, but. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, this is culture versus culture, but the other one's with three Ks. That's oh. all. I'm gonna say. <laughs> Very true, Farouk. What do you think, buddy? Who's winning Off this one? Off the top, I listen. I I think it might have to go to tiebreaker because these it's are both tough. very impactful sets. Like I said, it's culture versus culture. One is, one did some reading, and the other one just <laughs> burnt some books. <laughs> like, yeah, there you go. At least there were books and not crosses. <laughs> it's tight. It's Mateo tight. drove him up here the whole time. Like, You're gonna look so crazy up there. <laughs> 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 it's true. <laughs> I like how you think Mateo actually drives. <laughs> I, I didn't drive. I paid in Mexican. Yeah. For you, okay, you now think? we see the bonding. Um, what, oh yeah. what, what do you think? For actually, Pepino. I drove. might have to see. Listen, I, I'm I'm torn. I'm, I gotta I gotta I gotta Ooh. see a tiebreaker. I'm thinking. I'm gonna, you, I think you, I might have to go to tiebreaker. Well, you, you, you you gotta vote here. What do you think? Who do you well, think? I have to vote. Yeah. I'm against no, well, voting. Let, 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 let's move on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's see what. Uh, yeah, I think I think. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, Joe Mahoney. What do you think here? We'll get back. I take back what I said before. Start Asian hate. This is uh. This is. This is unbelievable. <laughs> I got to say, though, Phil, Phil, you stayed on one topic your whole set, which is, is very skillful. Usually you throw in rape or something. Well, well later on, guys, you're, my fav- <laughs> you're one of my favorite comics. I mean, you're the guy to beat. Uh, Pepino seemed like he was forgetting his shit or something. I don't know. I love you, though. I love you. Sorry. Oh. I, I got to go with Phil. Uh-huh. I mean, come on. Wow. Okay. Just, just that's, for entertainment purposes. That's one vote for Phil. Antonio, <laughs> what was, do you think here, buddy? That was Because here, here's the thing. Pepper started talking about condoms, and all I could think about is him fitting into a magnum. Like, yeah, just going I, exactly. Right into it. Yeah, just yeah. appealing right into a nice, lovely young lady. But man, Phil, and if I could quote the famous Michael Richards at Laugh Factory, wow. all yeah. right, this shocks you and shocks you. Wow. What's buried beneath you, stupid motherfuckers? He's not leaving, is he? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think here? I oh, mean, just you know, to do those jokes tight. It, 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 he walks the tight line. He does. Two of the best uh, of the yeah, competition. I, I got to give it to Philly. Yeah. Two nothing Phil Philly. Travis Grant, what do you think here? Dude, I think Phil Philly may win this whole fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was rolling. I was real deal laughing up Phil Philly. Sorry, Pepino. Uh, uh, that was that was really <laughs> funny. Which also <laughs> made you look racist. Yet? We, we, okay, that's three. <laughs> <laughs> that's three. Four will win. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it because we have a wild card round. That is true. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. But uh, who are you picking here, Phil Philly or Pepino? Oh, yeah, go with Phil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> four oh. What kind of competition would this be? Oh four uh, four nothing. Unfortunately, Pepino, you you've lost. <laughs> sorry, but don't worry Pepino. about it. We do have a wild card round. Yeah. We have a wild card round. I'll show you. The great Phil Philly, yeah. but another half of Pepino. I was pushing for him hard. The coronavirus musical. The Cor- musical. Coronavirus. The musical. Coronavirus. Not the coronavirus. No. Coronavirus. coronavirus the musical. Coronavirus. The musical. The musical. Yes. Robert a musical. Yeah. During the summer of 2020. During the quarantine, much like how Shakespeare would write his plays. Ah. Yeah. See you for that. And uh, we're gonna perform the musical. Yeah. Here, on the podcast. We're not gonna perform. We're gonna, it's, it's, a, it's a live read. It's more of a reading. It's like when but also, when we read, we're not going to just read it. We're going to become the actors. Well, well, of course we are. It's important. I wouldn't have it any other way. We're going to become the actors. You know, it's like when The Irishman came out. Yes. Right? They came out with a script 10 years ago, and, mm-hmm. and all the actors from The Irishman. Right. Bobby Cannavale. Mm-hmm. Joe Pesci. Javi Keitel. Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. Yes. They all sat down. They read parts. They read parts they for read it. They the script. And then they were like, we got to get this done. a secret meeting. Yes. 
this is what we're having. We're, we're not having a secret. We're having a secret meeting, but we're sharing it with all of you. We're sharing it yeah. with our listeners. With our very cheap audience. With our very cheap. <laughs> very, you know, very, yeah, very, very cheap. Penny, very cheap audience. So we ready Shame. To, uh, let me go through the... Uh, so Mateo is going to be the narrator slash... He's in a... What would you call it? How do you do it? Like, what you're gonna just read out the uh, the, uh, the forewords. It's yes. used, it's called a forward usually for called. plays and books, and they usually have the person who usually does it is called the prologger, or in some in some cases it's called an interpreter. But they don't really use that term anymore. Okay, that's what you're gonna be. You're gonna be the interpreter. Uh, I'm gonna play the character of Z. Okay. Greg, you're gonna be the character of Z. You're gonna be the uh, character of Z's sister, Z two. Okay. And let's keep going down a little bit further. Who else has dialogue? I can't remember. I'll be doing. All, I'll probably be doing all the singing parts. That's okay. 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 Let's see. And uh, I, I believe I'm going to play the Wuhan Markets Manager, Hai Tai. Hai Tai. And Greg, you're going to play the mother of Z1 and Z2. Z. <laughs> Z3. <laughs> uh, and that's all the parts. So um, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Right, and Mateo, you're going to read all like the... Uh, the you're yeah, be in, in between. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the narrate the vo voice of God. Can we practice our Chinese accents before we get started? Oh, you want me to narrate this in a Chinese accent? Uh, no, I don't want... No, you, you narrate should. as yourself. Okay, thank yeah, God. Yeah, thank yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. I don't you, don't think you, should. you don't have to do that. Yeah. You're just the narrator. Mm. Okay. Coronavirus. Wait, we're not starting yet. Hold on. Uh, okay. Because we're going to practice our Chinese yeah, accent. Yeah, we're going to practice our Chinese accent. Huh? Okay. Ah, how well? Uh, how well? How well? Uh, 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 give me a word that I can, like, like, like you know, like, uh, like peas and carrots. Lollipop. Lollipop. Yeah. Lollipop. Yeah. yeah uh, very good. Ra no, just keep saying lollipop. Uh, lollipop. 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 Okay. A queen. Yeah, a queen. Queen. Very queen. Okay. I think we got it. Okay. It's safe to say we'll never get Saturday Night Live after this. Oh, absolutely. It's already in my head. Do you think that if there's any chance that Saturday Night Live would like to do this as a sketch? Oh, yeah, they probably would. If they, it's good, it, if yeah, it's yeah. good, if they would do it as a sketch, maybe they could get that guy, Bowen Yang. He's funny. I get. Yeah, you know, he is. He played Elton John really we well. We all know he's not funny. But we, we'll, we'll no, I was funny. saying he's funny we for Elton John. We're kind of taking a big old steamy dump on Chinese I know. right it's now. So let's, like, really true. let's just be cool to our, you know, George Takai. That guy is good looking. Yeah, he is. Okay, all right. <laughs> um... I'm ready. Are we ready to go? Now, you know your part, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greg, and you know Z2. your line, right? You're Z2, okay? I'm Z2, yeah. All right, so where uh, it says when there's two eyes at the end, okay? I, I know. Ready? Let's start. Let's, uh, with Mateo, before you do. I'm nervous. You know what to do. Shut the windows? No, not shut the window. You are the, uh, are, uh, what's it called? You got to be the, like, you're the ring, ringmaster. Prologger. Uh, you're the prologger, but also the ringmaster. Introduce. Presents the show. Do as the ringmaster. I master. want you to present. Like, like as the ringmaster from the circus. Yes, everyone please be seated and uh, uh, as the show is, is about to proceed, mm -hmm. uh, we would like to uh, thank everyone involved for their tickets and, and uh, devotion. Okay, so we can't even get people to, to subscribe to the Patreon. Okay, no sorry. bought tickets to this. Could you give me a second? I need to put on my fake teeth. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, Mateo, also, now just say, and now I present to you Coronavirus, the musical. I present to you, everyone, Coronavirus, the musical. Mm. Well, we... Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Now, pr picture a curtain opening, right? And now, Mateo, describe the scene. Go ahead. Let's do it. Set in the Chinese city of Wuhan, a pair of 70-year-old twins are playing outside at night. Z, the boy, and Z... Two. Two. The girl are running through the forest outside their home. They see the water well and run over it. Sister, we must be careful. Brother, can we have one more drink from the well while we watch the birds? Sister, you can watch the birds in the morning. We pass, it's past 6 p.m. Mother will be home from work very shortly. If she doesn't see us in bed, she'll become very angry. Uh, please, brother, just one more drink from the well. Haha, <laughs> very well. One more drink from the well, and then we must go inside. All right, good brother. Mateo? Mateo. Z cups his, her hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm looking. 
You must follow along. I'm trying to. Z2. Z2. Cups or hands. Oh, okay. I, oh, I thought that was dialogue for Z2. No, it's not dialogue. I'm right here. Z2 cups her hands oh. and places them under the well to, yeah. and drinks from the water she I'm scooped with her hands. Oh. She goes back in for more water. Then a bat flies out of oh. the well, terrorizing the children. Oh! 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 oh. 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 It's that... But Z screams in fear. Oh, so, oh yeah, I thought there was Z I'm, screams I'm, in fear. Ah! While her brother is calm, oh, no. the bat flies into the face of the young boy and then collapses in front of them with his eyes. Oh, my God. Z picks up the bat from the ground and takes a bite out of it. It's a wing. Z2 still shook from the strange encounter. This grossed out is grossed out by her brother. Z, that's gross. Why would you eat a bird? Ha <laughs> city Z. That wasn't a bird. That was a bat. Now let's go home. You have you've had enough bird watching for one day. The brother and sister. I know I'm I'm reading I'm waiting for you to stop. Okay. You're no Morgan Freeman Mateo. I know, I know. The brother and sister. The brother and sister walk to their home, which was a hundred yards from the well. They go into their house and see their mother sleeping in the room. They climb into her, uh, climb into their mom's bed, and go to sleep. That night passes. Their mother wakes up at four a.m. She sniffs. Like sniff. Yeah, sniff. Like, yeah, she's like Rocco. Like Rocky. Yeah, yeah. 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 The mother, Greg. Oh, I'm yeah. playing the mother. Yeah, but Mateo, continue. Yeah, picks, no, up, picks up the vest off from the floor and throws it on. The vest says... She's an employee. She's an employee at the Wuhan market. She walks out the door of the of her house, walking up the staircase. The little card... The title card. The title card. Coronavirus appeared on the screen. Appears on the screen. Appears on the screen. I, I didn't know if we were writing this as a play or a short film. Okay, this, okay. So. After a few uh, seconds. I know. After a few seconds of ominous music playing, plays, the musical appears below the title card. Now, Z Lee Z- uh, begins mo- to sing. Now, uh, you want me to sing? Yeah, sing? sure. Yeah. Uh, I think you, you have do a better singing voice. You, than uh, I would, yeah. But I don't think you really know how it goes, so I'm going to sing the song. Right. Oh, it's hard to be Chinese woman, raising two little kids. It's hard to be Chinese woman, oppressed by the government. Every time I think I'm out, they drag me right back in. Every time I have my doubts, I'm reminded of my twins. I think one could be a doctor and the other play the violin. Or my daughter could be a homemaker and my son, the fisherman. And then I just remember how lucky I really am that this oppressive government allowed me to keep both of them. What this country does to families is a mortal sin. Another constant reminder of how hard it is to be a Chinese woman raising two Chinese twins. Z arrives at the market, uh, market and her boss is waiting by her fish stand. Z Lee, you late again. The fourth time in ten years. You, can you, can you get here on time? Oh. Uh. Oh, you don't like this job, Z Lee? You don't like to work at the Chinese market? I do like this job. I don't like you, Mr. T. <coughs> oh, you don't have to like me, you silly woman. You don't have to like the Chinese market. Wuhan market is number one market in China. Here at Wuhan market, we have everything. Here at the Wuhan market. Here at the Wuhan, Wuhan. jail. Here at the Wuhan market, we're everything for sale. Here at the Wuhan market, a prison without bars. Another word out of you, and I'm going to send you right to Mars. Here at the Wuhan market, here at the Wuhan cell, where everything is half off, from the white rice to the green kale. Here at the Wuhan market, we never discriminate, as you can see. 
this woman here just happens to be late. And yet she continues to hold her job because of her boss has a big heart. And if the I didn't have big heart, she'd be working at the Foxconn manufacturing Apple, manufacturing Apple computer parts. But I digress. She isn't a terrible worker. She'll have just, she'll just have to be paid one dollar less. A fraction of a quarter, or perhaps a dime will be best. You're making a nickel now. She probably wishing that I hadn't heard her. Now get back to work, or all of this will be over. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? My God, I, you look like you're about to be sick. Oh, now look at what you've done. She throws up, by the way. Yeah, yeah it's, it's obvious. Okay. Oh, no. Now, now, look what you've done. Will someone please grab a mop and clean up this vomit? Yeah, I know. Mr. Atai walks away and goes into the building while Z Ling co-workers help her clean up. And scene. And scene. Okay. They and scene. Yeah. Now. This two. Scene two. Yeah, I know. I don't know if I wrote this one, but okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. This one might, might not be very good. Hi, Mr. Atai. Uh, is the office? Uh, wait, wait. Uh, Hi, Tai is in his office when. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I read it backwards. Uh, she's pale. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Tai is in his office when Zeeling walks in. She is pale in the face and doesn't look well. Uh, Mister T, can I have a chat with you? I am very busy, as you should be. I don't have any time for chat. Now get back on the street. I am not feeling well. Well, neither am I. But you don't see me complaining, do you? Now get back on the street. I, I think I think I have to go home. Well, if you think you have to go home, and if you just so happen to actually go home, then you should stay home for the rest of the year. You've caused enough problem today, Mrs. Lee. I take this early dismissal request as an informal resignation of your position. But I, I don't feel well. <laughs> I have to go home. <laughs> Very well, then. Perhaps I should just send everyone home because you don't feel very well. Maybe I should just close the entire market down or because one person isn't feeling very well. How ridiculous does that sound? Now get back on the street and do your job. Zee Lee sheepishly turns around and goes back to her fish stand. The Wuhan market is very busy. Hundreds of people shop there a day. Title card appears on screen, November 2019. End scene. End scene. And we did it. Come on, come on. Come on. Keep it down, no, no, come on. And they want an encore. 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 Now, rose petals being thrown. Oh. Hopefully the mics are on. Uh, yeah, they are recording. It. Should I t tighten it up a bit with little cuts or leave it well, as? Yeah. It? No, no, no. That was a very. Oh, we can stop now. Well. <laughs> so, what'd you guys think? It was actually very tasteful. <laughs> I was thinking it could be a lot more hateful than it would be. Uh, why would it be hateful? Not hateful We're a in a sense. Show. He's telling a story. He's telling a I know, story I know, and that's it. not where I'm going with that. I meant like hateful in the sense of the virus. Uh, never mind what I was assuming. There's no Q&A? You have a Q&A? Yeah, we have a Q&A. But ahead. where's the Dr. Fauci part? Oh, I didn't write that part yet. Dr. Fauci. Dr. Right. Fauci. Dr. Dr. Fauci wants to give you an ouchie. <laughs> I didn't get to that part. Now, do you think you can bring this live to the stage? I haven't really considered yet, man. I, I think know. it works best as a radio boy for now. I what, think it, what was uh, in your head when you were writing this? Well, like I, I said before, that I, was, I wrote it during quarantine. So you yeah. had a headache. You had a headache. I didn't have a headache. Have a headache? Did you have the coronavirus while writing this? No, I did not. No, I didn't get the coronavirus until about a year later. Mm. Oh, so you did get it? I did get a coronavirus. Yeah, no symptoms. Interesting, because I think I also did have it uh, with symptoms, but it didn't, I never got tested. Oh, never got tested. I'm oh. sorry. Are you the writer of this play? No, no. So I'm why saying. Why are you I, answering the questions? We're no, I was asking. Ask him, like he said, that he had. It. I'm saying, like I had any similar experience. But we're asking the writer. Ladies, ladies, one at a time. Okay, okay. Do you have a question? Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. So like you 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 were asymptomatic you think? <laughs> I was about kind of, the play. I was kind of hoping you would ask the question about the play, but don't worry, I'll, I'll answer this question. I'll answer this question. I was asymptomatic. Okay. Yeah. No, I, not that I think I was. Okay. Because I tested positive for COVID. So you were COVID positive. I was COVID positive so after I were, had to take a random test. Yes, yeah, so you were positive about being virus positive. Is that some sort of play on words? 
Yes, but there's more to what I'm going in my head with. Is this. the coronavirus a joke to you? No. Okay. But are you positive about what your stance is? I'm positive what my stance is. Yes. Could you say you're HIV positive? I'm not oh, HIV positive. Cut. He's 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 this guy. Cut this, this goddamn mic. Cut this goddamn. Do you have another question for him or not? Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. How long did it take you to write it? Two hours. Two hours. Okay. Write it or the play? The play. The it is the play. Well, well, you call it the coronavirus the musical. I know. Respect the play. Oh, well, the play. Do you yeah. think that Saturday Night Live would like that piece of material? I don't know. They've done some really racial stuff in the past. Like it's I've true. seen it's on YouTube. It's true. Yeah. It's not even that racist. It's not even. It's not. I don't think it was that racist. It's not. We're telling a story. It's pretty factually accurate. About two young. That's Chinese how I people. envision how the, the the coronavirus got started. It really yeah. did. It like. See how it kind of foiled, right? Yeah. The kids eat the bat. They go on the bed with the think, mom. I don't even think the bat narrative holds up. Mateo. Oh. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. In a month from now, what? could you produce a, a musical for us? Radio play? Yeah. I have another play. I'm working on a sketch next week. I wrote, so let's, I, see how, let's see how that goes. I'm finishing production. I'll, I'll let, let you decide. You know, I, want to, I, want to, I want to see Matteo Pascal, the musical. Matteo, you weren't singing during the musical either. We all should have sang at the I, same yeah. time at the end. The yeah, I, I didn't know if I should or I shouldn't. Like, I, I was like questioning. I said, just do my narration lines and stuff. Okay. I mean, I think Greg joined in at the end of I one did. of them. Yeah. I got very excited. Yeah, I know. appreciate that. How was my singing voice? I know I broke a few times. I apologize to the audience. I uh, no, I heard it in the headphones. It was great. Yeah, and um, also I, I know I broke the accent a few times because it was kind of hard. I was trying to read along. I, I don't have it. I didn't have it memorized. That- yeah. It took me a while to get, you know, like you, you, you just threw the part at me, so you couldn't get into character. I couldn't get into no. the character at first, right? Uh, because I don't really do a good Chinese accent. I don't do accent. one very well at all either. Uh, but uh, I, I, at first, I st- sounded like a British girl. Yeah, I kind of. Let me hear it. Let me hear it again. But not the, the with the British girl. No, no, like the, the your accent. Ch- yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, but oh. I, 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 I'm not trying to be. I'm trying yeah. to be. An, I'm trying to do an accurate. Uh, Wuhan accent. It's kind of difficult. Which is very difficult. Which we don't know any. I don't know anyone from Wuhan. I don't Wuhan. know. I, I never met anyone, anyone from Wuhan. Wuhan. Yeah, I'm not I never sure. met anyone from Wuhan. So it's very difficult for me to do that. I actually, I, I wrote another play. Maybe we can read it on some other occasion. On a different what, what's the title? Uh, uh, a COVID Carol? Ooh. Uh, we yeah. Had, we had these fake auditions when we were like 18 years old. Okay. Uh, for mo- a film, for a movie that my friend wrote. Oh, I know the story. Yeah, yeah. and I, uh, and uh, just, uh, I'll just run through it real quick. So we had these fake auditions. We had we, it was in Staten Island. We had we provided the people that were auditioning with bagels. With uh, and this guy walks in. It's like German dude with yeah. long hair. Walks in. <laughs> he reads for the part. He's just killing it. Killing. Killing it. Okay. Right. And we're like, this guy's great. Yeah. This guy's so fucking. And then that good. Greek guy showed up. He was Cre- the Greek. Thunder. He was a Greek guy. Actually. Yeah. He yeah, yeah, was yeah. a Greek guy. I I, I called him German. <laughs> and uh, he just shows up and he's killing it. And we're like, dude, like you got the part. And he's just like, thank you so much. This is so good. It's so nice of you. I can't wait to work with you. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a worker. He just starts screaming how much of a worker yes. he is. <laughs> and when he leaves, we go, I think that guy wants to get paid for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're not paying uh, But before we end, I, I just love the, when, when he was auditioning, my friend who wrote the movie, yeah. who wasn't an, he's not an actor. He was an 18-year-old idiot. Uh, he, he, uh, we made him act with him we're like well this is the star of the movie and he just sees the greek guy was this tall handsome actor type he just sees this trollish looking kid from staten island and we're like eric my friend's name was eric eric like improvise with him and the greek guy is just like yeah improvise i am the father you are the son let's do this and uh and then uh the guy just starts yelling at my friend going look at you you fat fuck you fat fucking scumbag you want to grow up to be a loser like your daddy and the and and like really just say the hurtful shit to my friend. Like he just was just like, you bitch tit, loser, you fucking loser. Look at you. Look at this house. This house is shit. And it's because of you. You were a fucking loser. And my friend is just like just taking it. And he just tries to act like with him. Like he's like, well, you're a loser, dad. And he's like, no, you are a fucking loser. And then we all just from the audition, you know, we were judging. And we all just stand up in round of applause and just fucking start clapping. And my friend. Uh, and he, you know, the Greek guy, yeah. just not humble about it. He just bows. He's like, "Thank you. This is beautiful. I'm a worker type." And my friend was just still like, just like, "Yeah, you, you were good. You were good. I'd be a little harsh." He's like, <laughs> "He's like, that's what you have to be with. You have to be passionate." And I look forward to working with all of you. And I expect 
Forty thousand dollars a year. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the film title like "Lick This Glock" or it something? It was uh, "Suck This Gun." The, 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 the opening. The line, opening line. The opening line from it right. was, "I want to suck want, the cum. I, I want you to suck the cum out of my balls." Yes, yes. that was the <laughs> that opening. Was the first line <laughs> of the movie. The name of the movie, I think, was "Taste This Gun." Taste This Gun. Yeah, Taste yeah this gun. that was the name and of it. Your joke about it's like it's a gay yeah. porno. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So. And that, that's the episode. Everyone, have a good night. Yeah.